Well, you can pinch yourselves. You did it, you did it. Congratulations. That's amazing that you survived this. You, <laughs> you discovered things uh, about yourself, and, and always remember that, that you, you really have great talent, and you have extraordinary self-discipline, and you know you can overcome any obstacles, because you have, and you know that you help people, because even going through the program and, and the folks that you met along the way, some of us, some of your patients, you changed their lives for the better. So I just want to remind you of a couple of things. Never forget all those wonderful things you learned about yourself. You're match tough. You can do this. Please do remember, though, that it, it always is a place of home for you, Queensboro. And I hope that you'll think of Queensboro and all the faculty and the staff who mentored you and all the students, the colleagues who become your friends. And do know that friendship and laughter will sustain you through tragedy, through triumph. But this is a day of triumph. So good for you, good for you. And don't forget to prepare next week. You can celebrate the next few days. Don't forget, work really hard on your prep for the licensure test and don't put it off. I remember finishing my coursework and having to take my certification exams in July and I was afraid to shake my head that stuff was gonna fall out. <laughs> so I'm sure it's in there. So take advantage of all the reviews that are offered. I know you're gonna be stupendously successful because you're incredible people. And I thank you for including me in this great event. And I'll see you again, I hope, tonight for the award winners and certainly tomorrow at Candle Lighting and Friday at our formal commencement for all of our students, including our wonderful nursing graduates. Congratulations. Thank you, President Call, for your kind words. Um, next, I would like to invite up Chairperson Anne Marie Menendez to also say a few words. That's better, right? Um, this is my favorite event because um, everyone's so happy and so cheerful. And, and the flowers just represent that. They're absolutely gorgeous in the colors. Um, you're finally made it through and you're able to celebrate with your friends and um, the people that really um, helped you along the way. Um, we talk a lot at community colleges about changing lives. And I have to say, um, coming out of this nursing program, your life will change. Um, and it's beginning today. Uh, first of all, economically, you know, nursing is a very good job. I know it's tough out there, um, but I um, advise you to be very flexible, um, to persevere, not to think of just, you know, the hospital settings. You have to be out in the schools and the community agencies, uh, looking at um, nursing homes. There's positions out there for you. And of course, going on for your bachelor's will make you even more marketable. You will change because people will see you differently. I was just talking to one of your peers and family are already tapping you for information. Um, so you will be a change agent. You know, people will come to you for guidance and that speaks to your education. You know, they say if you educate a parent that you're really educating a family. So you now are educated in health and that will bode well for you and of course for the people that love you and, and know you. Um, but also, I think you, as Dr. Call has mentioned, will change personally um, over your years of work in nursing. Uh, you will hear many, many stories from your patients, um, you know, happy and sad, and um, some of them just unbelievable, um, the things that people go through in life. And that will profoundly change who you are as a person. And that will enrich you and, and help you grow. So I, I, it's a wonderful profession, and I'm so excited for you for the opportunities. And I just have to congratulate you again and on behalf of the whole faculty. Job well done. So give yourself a hand. <laughs> We have, you are all of course special and I'm so proud of every one of you. We do have a few awards and um, we have some of our graduates back. Some of our graduates should stand up because look at our role models here. We have a number of grads. Why don't you stand up and 
Christine was here, and they were here. Um, did they, oh, they're hiding back there, okay. Oh, there you are, okay. I'm looking at you, and I'm, I'm like in a daze. Yeah, congratulations. Um, we also have um, uh, Sarah Marshall here, uh, representing the Nurses Association of the Counties of Long Island. Uh, she is a graduate of our program, and she'd like to um, uh, give an award to one of our students. So I'd like to have Sarah to come up, please. Thank you very much. I would like to ask Kimberly Brown to please join me at the podium. Good afternoon. It is indeed a pleasure and a privilege to be a part of your festivity today. My name, as you know, is Sarah Marshall, and I'm a member of the Board of Director Rectors for the Nurses Association for the Counties of Long Island. On behalf of the Nurses Association of the Counties of Long Island, I bring you greetings and congratulations on your graduation. The Nurses Association is the professional association for registered nurses who live and or work in Brooklyn, Queens, or Nassau counties. We are District 14 of the New York Nurses Association. The association keep you current on what is new in nursing, keep you aware of legislature affecting nurses and health care, provides ongoing educational programs and opportunity to network with other nurses. Join the association and become an active part of the future of the nurses, of nursing. The award we are presenting is to one of your class who was chosen because of her exemplary leadership. The award consists of a certificate, a pen, and a one-year membership in the Nurses Association. I'm waiting for you, Kimberly. She had to leave early, but I'm going to accept it. So. Oh, okay. So here is the leadership certificate. Here is the pen. Okay, and here is one year membership in the Nurses Association. So, and there are um, committees that she can select from. So you can ask her to please complete that and get it back to us. Again, thank you for the opportunity to share this event with you. It, it is important to um, maintain your um, presence in professional organizations, so that's, that's a good reminder for you. I also have some other awards I'd like to take a moment to announce right now. Um, we have the Alumni Humanity Award. This award was established by the College Alumni Association and is presented to the graduate who is outstanding in providing humanistic nursing care. And this recipient, the recipient of this award on days is Angie Lee. And on evenings, it's Michael Aranella. The next award is the Alumni Blumenthal Award. This award was established by Ruth Blumenthal, a graduate of QCC, to give recognition to the art and science of nursing. This award is now granted by the college alumni and is given to the graduate who has shown outstanding performance in the practice of nursing. The uh, nominees for this award are on days, Melissa Anzalone,
and on evenings, Joanna Fiorucci. The Alumni Bernadette Robo Award. This award was established by the College Alumni Association and is given to the graduate who has consistently rendered an outstanding level of performance in the clinical area. The day recipient is Orlette Johnson. And the evening recipient is Elizabeth Ichikoff. The Nursing Department Award. This award was established by the faculty of the Nursing Department. This award is given to the graduate who has demonstrated outstanding scholarship, who is a skillful practitioner of nursing, and who has demonstrated potential for professional development. The recipient of this award is Luann Satina. The Eva Barbaro Nursing Award in memory of Abdul Baden. This award was established by Professor Camille Baden, a graduate of Queensborough Community College Nursing Program and a faculty member of QCC Department of Nursing in memory of her son, Abdul Baden. This award is given to the male nursing graduate who exhibits excellent academic performance and high professional standards. The recipient of this award is S.A. Abawal. The Roseanne Diker Memorial Award. This award is given to the student who demonstrates the qualities of caring, compassion, and dedication to nursing. The day recipient is Jacqueline Weber. The Mary Ellen, Mary Ellen Matthews Memorial Nursing Scholarship Endowment. This award is given to the student who demonstrates a need and dedication to nursing. The day recipient of this award is Gloria Tello.
The evening recipient of this award is Simon Ulababo. And I missed an award, the Roseanne Diker Memorial Award. This um, award is given to the student who demonstrates the qualities of caring, compassion, and dedication. And the evening recipient of this award is Angie Alvarez. The Sylvia Weinstock Stitzel Scholarship Award. This award is given to the, uh, to, well, to the student who demonstrates outstanding scholarship and dedication to the nursing program. And the recipient of this award is Jennifer Lures. <laughs> and Days. And Katerina Hughes Ikstawa. The Nursing Associate Scholarship. This award is given to the student who demonstrates dedication and commitment to nursing. The recipient of this award is Valerie Renard. The Eva Barbaro Nursing Scholarship Endowment. This award is established by the faculty of the Department of Nursing. This award is given to the graduate who has demonstrated a firm commitment for advancing their nursing education upon completion of the QCC program. The graduate should exemplify excellent leadership qualities as well as high overall GPA at QCC. There's two recipients. The recipients of the award is Rosalind Jean Charles. and Yanka Benitez. The Student Nurses Association Award, the recipient of this award has met the following criteria. Demonstrated an honest, caring, and assertive approach to patient care, a true patient advocate, 
shown genuine concern for his or her peers, worked diligently and conscientiously to attain his or her professional aspirations, achieved his or her personal goals despite formidable obstacles. The recipient of this award is Jennifer Marcelino. The Irene M. Batista Award. This award is given to the individual in the class who best exemplifies the following criteria. Dedication to the goals of an SNA throughout his or her stay at Queensborough, unselfish commitment to the care of patients, support and empathy for his or her peers. The recipient of this award is Jennifer Lures. And lastly, I would just write to um, make note that we have a student um, who received award for uh, the STEM award um, for leadership. Um, this was a leadership and role model award, and it was presented by um, Professor Cola Lillo to student Ivorine Johnson. So I just not <laughs> Okay, thank you everyone. I'll send Jennifer back up. Enjoy. So before we open it up to food, I just want to, there are a few people that I want to thank. Um, first, I would like to thank Chairperson Menendez before, we'll come over to you. <laughs> thank you. Chairperson Menendez, thank you very much. And next up, I would like to invite our, um, our SNA moderators, Professor Savory and Professor Sauer. And everyone, Christine Porter um, has joined us today. She was so wonderful in, in um, getting another Kaplan um, raffle for students. So I believe that underneath your plates, there are um, raffle tickets. So if you would lift up your plate, um, Christine is going to call out oh, the- Not under the professor's plate. Uh, <laughs> you guys are Unless you want to go and do it again. <laughs> um, so if you just look under your plates, pick up that ticket, Christine's going to call the, the number. 
Okay, six two five eight zero nine. No, no speech, Russell, no speech. <laughs> Why not? Um, and just before we open up the food lines, the photographer would like the entire class to step over here for a quick, um, happy graduation picture. 